you guys. Um, I've been wanting to make this video for ages and I've been so tired and not feeling good so I haven't actually like brought myself to be able to sit there and make this video. Um, but I am now because shit's happened, popped up and it's just reminded me of this that I want to talk about. So basically it's, um, people are fucking riding me. Um, I've got notifications popping up and it just, it closes off the whole screen and I don't even know like what the fuck is going on. So it distracts me. So I'm going to try not to pay attention to it. So I'm not going to look at the screen very much during this video. Anyway, um, this, this topic is fucking, um, jealous bitches, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, I know People probably wait for me to do the same rants I used to do. This isn't the same kind of rant, but I do have stuff to say. Um, if a guy is cheating on a girl, don't be the kind of jealous, irrational bitch to attack the other girl. That makes me so fucking angry. Um, in my life, I've been cheated on fucking constantly, like almost nonstop, you know, um, especially by husband number two. Uh, I went to a club and um, we had split up. We were like on a break and I was kind of drunk and I saw this chick and I was like, oh my God, she's hot. And then we went out on the dance floor and we we're kind of flirting. And then um, I was like, so what's your name? And she's like, oh, you know, my name's Kristen or whatever. And she's like, I know who you are. And I was like, oh, how do you know that? And she's like, oh, cause I was fucking around with your husband. And I was like, what? And uh, I got furious at first, but then she told me, no, it's because he had told her all along, me and him really weren't together and we were about to split up. Um, we, we really had nothing to do with each other and he was going to be with her. And um, finally, after a while, she realized that he was lying to her and that we actually were together and she broke it off with him and she had given him a black feather rose and he fucking brought it home and gave it to me. And instead of getting mad at her, which I still kind of had a right to do because she knew we were together, but she was lied to, you know. But instead of getting mad at her, I got mad at him. And me and her went to his work. We walked in holding hands, arms around each other, and the look on his face was just fucking priceless, you know. But, and she's on my friends list now. Like, we talk, we're cool with each other, we reminisce sometimes. And it's like, it's like that, you know. That's the way you should handle yourself. If you guy, you know, your guy or your girl is cheating on you, if the other person doesn't know or was lied to, don't blame them. It's not their fault. And chances are they're as much of a victim as you are. Yeah, you might have had a life with them, but they had hopes and dreams and expectations. And who knows if they had a life with them as well if you guys aren't weren't living together, you know? They might have. They could be heartbroken. You don't know what the other person is going through. And if they're a victim and they don't know... Why be mad at them? Because they didn't know. Um, it's the person that's lying that you should be fucking furious at. And if the person did know, then by all means, all fucking means, you can go after them and fucking hate them. Because then you're justified. Because they knew that this guy was in a relationship. They knew that he had a wife or a girlfriend or, you know, vice versa. The chick had a husband or whatever and everything was going good. But they still chose to dick around anyway. Um, that's disrespectful. It's fucked up. It's home wrecking. It's the very definition of home wrecking, and it's just, it's unnecessary. It's it's low. It's a really low blow. It's like go find your own guy. You know what I mean? Don't tear apart somebody else's house. Before you get confused or suspicious, no, Logan has not cheated on me. There's no other woman. Nothing like that. This isn't about Logan. This is about people online. I've got a new profile and it's taken off like fucking crazy. Like I've had it for now 10 days. So in these 10 days, I've got almost, no, almost 4,000. It's over 3,000 friends. Um, my posts have already been liked over 10,000 times and I've got constant, constant communication going on there with people. And um, so a lot of people are crossing my path. And this profile and my last profile, which was my last new one, the same shit happened. Like, people will talk to me. I I pick out a couple of people I might say hi to, someone who looks interesting, or someone who 
really strikes me as like a cool person or someone I want to get to know or whatever. And I'll talk to them. Guy, girl, doesn't matter. So it's not just guys. I get jealous girlfriends and jealous wives and they'll be like telling me that, you know, oh, he's cheating on me. Is it you? Or it is you? And I'm like, uh, it's not me. I'm not fucking around with anybody. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about or what you were told. And I wouldn't touch a married man anyway or a guy in a relationship. And I check this shit. I look. I spy on everybody that talks to me to make sure, you know, I know what kind of person they are because I let so few people into my life. And it's like, I don't appreciate getting attacked for shit I didn't do. And then I see, like, um, I used to watch the show Cheaters. And then there's the cheating shit online that I like to watch because it's interesting. And then there's, um, what is it? Well, there's just shit like that. You know, I like I like watching reality shows about stuff like that. Um, I feel safe watching cheating shows now because I know that's not my life. So it's not like, I can't watch it because this just happened to me. It's like I can watch it because I know it's not happening to me. So, um, so I like to watch it and I see, oh, Jerry Springer and shit like that. That's what it is. Um, all those talk shows. And you see, like, the women that got cheated on and they fucking go after the other woman. And I'm like, why are you mad at her? She didn't fucking know. And I just think it's really fucked up the way that people <clears throat> focus on the wrong person. That's not the way you should conduct yourself, you know? Uh, go after the guilty party. Don't go after the innocent party. Um, just... Long story short, just, um, if you find yourself in that situation, don't, don't go after an innocent person. Go after someone that fucking deserves it. If he's lied to you, go after him. If she knew, go after her. If she did not know, accept that she is a victim as well. Or, again, vice versa. It's just guys don't usually post about, you know, my girl cheated on me and it hurts. Usually they're like, fuck that bitch, you know, whatever. But um, the girls are the ones that are like, my heart was broken and I'm so sad. So that's why I, I, I'm kind of specifying females more. And females are usually a lot dirtier. Like I've seen the video clips of guys walking in and seeing the girl cheating and they'll like record themselves breaking up with her or confronting her and then leaving. But they don't really get dirty like that as often as girls do girls will fucking just throw blows right away they'll fucking be on that other girl and it's just like whoa i've always thought that was wrong though like my entire life even when i was getting cheated on constantly by husband number two i've always had it in my head like you don't go after an innocent victim because if they didn't know what fault can you really place on their shoulders you you can't so that's my two cents for the day um I know people are going to read so much into this, which is hilarious, but don't read more into it than what I've said, because there's nothing more to it than literally what I've said. I hate that I have to, to even mention that, but I know with the amount of stalking and hating that is around, they are just like archaeologists digging through a fucking, you know, a site looking for any tiny little speck. To be like, I know with this one sentence she said, I know her entire life and what's going on. And let me just assure you, you don't know a goddamn thing. Honestly, nobody online does. Nobody but me knows exactly what is going on. Not even the people that I talk to, obviously. Logan, not even Logan knows everything that's going on with me right now. So, I know you're going to read into that too as well, by the way, but... <laughs> don't read into it it's as simple as that i just i saw sh i saw a couple of friends going through it and then i'd watch some videos the cheaters cheaters videos and it just got in my head and i was like i really want to say this so i'm just going to make a video should i make a video because people are going to be all over it but i really don't care because i know a good chunk of you are smart enough to know what i'm talking about and um so yeah there's that i hope you guys are having a great day i'm I just woke up, so I'm, like, really kind of fucked right now. Um, but I'm going to go down with my day, and I'm going to upload this. Um, thank you guys so much for your support and being here. Appreciate all of you. I'm already uh, getting semi-close to my giveaway thing. I've got an idea what I'm going to do, so stay tuned. Um, I think it's a good mid midway offer or whatnot. Um, so stay tuned, and... 
I'm keeping track of my subscriptions and when they go up um, 100 before it ends, I will post the video about the giveaway and I'll see you guys then. Bye.